So we set off for Ireland in June, armed only with a copy of the novel, to find out the truth. June 16th, 1904. Bloomsday is the single day in which Ulysses takes place, an epic journey of Leopold Bloom's wanderings through Dublin on his way home to his unfaithful wife, Molly. It is celebrated worldwide 100 years after that fated first date. If Ulysses is not worth reading, then life is not worth living. Bloomsday in Dublin is so special because you, in effect, have the opportunity to walk through the novel. There's very few books that still retain much of the original setting. And Ulysses is unique. You can literally go to the same chemist where Bloom bought his lemon soap. You can walk the same routes. You can visit some of the same uh, businesses, and you just can't do that in any other novel, and that's what makes uh, Ulysses unique, but it also makes Bloomsday so special. Seinfeld made a big point, you know, it's a situation comedy about nothing. Well, Ulysses, in effect, is a novel about nothing. And about everything at the same time. He reveals for the first time what goes on in our minds. Story of a man who goes out one morning, leaves his house, wanders around the city of Dublin. By the name of Leopold Bloom, who is a Jewish guy that lives in Dublin. And I think he works to sell advertising and he's married to a, um, a famous Dublin singer. It's an epic, unquestionably a novel confined to a single day in a single place. You write a novel which contradictorily is supposed to celebrate the first day you met your wife and it's all about adultery. What would you do if you knew that your spouse was going to be unfaithful to you at four in the afternoon? The heroes of, of the world are people who go on. And in that boring unimportance is all the importance in the world. 